Hi, so today I'm looking at controlling a microcontroller via USB and a PC. As you can see this is a standard EasyPick Fusion version 7. This is the ILI9340 TFT display from Microelectronica. The example code for this USB is on Microelectronica's site and is available on all their boards. I played around with the code last night, got this board to do a few things with various commands sent from the PC. Right, so if I start typing, so I've just typed the message red, blue, green. I've done this to illustrate that's how many characters I'm reading and just reproducing on the TFT. So it looks for the first three characters in the string, and depending on what they are, the board does various things. As you can see, so I've spelt that wrong. B L E, so B L U E for blue. So retype that. There we are, blue. So now I'll just type in U T. So there's my first two characters, and you can see U T come up. So now if I set the H I D terminal to typing, right, so now I've cleared it. Well, so that's simple typing. Now, if I zoom you back out, well, I've got timer interrupt flashing an LED every second. Now, let's send it to some commands and turn something on. So, this is port A. So, you see port A flashes up here, and port A LEDs have come on. Now, if I go port B, send, so you can see it's received. But nothing happens because port B isn't doing anything. Port C. You can see this bank of LEDs on port C came on. So now, with the timer interrupt routine, I've introduced a flag. So if it sees a flag, it starts flashing these. So that's the flag is on. And guess what I have to type to turn the flag off? F off. <laughs> I hope you've got a sense of humour. You can see it stopped flashing and that was the last state. So now if I go A off. And then C off. Just left with the flashing LED. And being USB, very reliable, no glitches, nothing. Fantastic. Fantastic for communicating on the USB wire. You can see I type CLR for clear. This letter here is actually reproducing the first character down here in case you want to start typing, so that's what that is. And that's the command I'm sending. just got these characters being buffered and decoded at the moment so yeah, you can put a thousand different characters in there if you want. Right this is the code, the complete code with the exception of an imported font. If you're not sure how to import fonts look at my other videos. So that's the default setup for Microelectronica's ILI9340 TFT. You'll find it on the EasyPick Fusion version 7. This can be set up on Micro C Pro for PIC. So you can see I'm initialising the touch panel, then analog to digital, converter is all digital, these ports turning them on to flash the LEDs, JTAG's nothing, that's the init for the touch screen, TFT default mode, and that's the backlight. So this is Microelectronica's code, char count. 
read buffer 64 so it's re reading the buffer coming in on the USB and write buffer 64 and this is microelectronics again so that's the USB interrupt you can see USB interrupt proc so this is where I've added the timer just to get the board to do something a little interesting so because this is the PIC32 I've had to use timer 2 and 3 to get long delays so that's my flag and then that's just the, the actual timer interrupt itself at the moment it's just defaulted to one second and you can see when the timer interrupt comes along so timer 3 interrupt flag port b.bit8 is turning on in the opposite state of what it actually is so if it's on it's going to turn off and vice versa and then this is looking for the flag I send via USB if the flag is 1 port A state is inverted this read buffer is just so I can put the buffer on the TFT 8 places and these unsigned ins this is for writing the text on the screen and you can see where they're void main already so you won't need this initialize touch panel initialize timer 2 3 delay 100 milliseconds this is your USB interrupt enable this is probably the priority bits interrupt priority enable interrupts HID enable so HID human interface device enable and read buff and write buff this is obviously the pen for the TFT and setting the font that's the external font and filling the screen white small delay and then wire one so this is microelectronicas have a look at their sample software very easy so while the HID is not being read this is their for loop for count equals not count it's less than 64 which is the buffer size count plus plus write buff count equals read buff count that's the brush and the pen for the rectangle and that's the rectangle so that I don't have to keep on clearing the display it's, that's been done in the while one loop and this is the part I modified so it's looking at the buffer so in this case buffer 0 if buffer 0 equals that's ASCII 114 and read buffer 1 equals 101 ASCII 101 and read buff 2 equals 100 TFT full screen red and it's writing back to my terminal HID write red is on so let me show you the terminal before I forget up to tools HID terminal look for your device in here you can see I've got a Microsoft keyboard so these are the dongles for the software if microelectronic is watching there's my dongle for the PIC32 and there's my dongle for Micro C Pro for PIC I've got DS PIC as well and that's my USB there John B's USB so we connect to that and you can see the last message I sent UT for YouTube so if I send a message I've sent the message and it's the microcontroller's come back YouTube is on have a quick look at the screen they are green and use you so the beauty with the setup I've done is you can send a message and if nothing comes back then you know you've done something wrong or you've lost your connection I couldn't suss out the carriage return and line feed I'm not sure if that's being sent to the controller or coming back but if I typed a 10 or a 13 which is carriage return and line feed this just carries on going so not sure about that so look red send you can see red is on I only use three letters here that blue is on so if I clear this so that's for the turning port A on port A send so port A equals 255 and remember part of port C turned on port C equals 30 and because the message has come back if you weren't near the microcontroller you can assume everything's correct 
So it doesn't matter what you type, it's looking for the first three letters. See the blue is on. It's a clear for screen. That's clearing the screen on the controller. Flag. So if I clear this box down here. Flag, send the flag. Flag is on so you can then assume whatever is running on your flag is now running. In my case is alternating port A. And for those of you who got a sense of humour, F off. Flag off. Flag is off. There you go. So that's Microelectronica's USB HID terminal. So next, so you can see what I'm doing with the code, go up to the top again, tools, ASCII chart. So if we look at this first example, here, look, red is on, so I'm obviously looking for red in these first three buffers. So look, buffer 0, buffer 1, buffer 2, 114, this is ASCII, 101 and 100. So that should spell red in lowercase. So with the ASCII chart, lowercase, R, 114, E, 101, D, 100. And that's what we've got. 114, 101, 100. So I'm looking at three buffers there. Just two for the YouTube. So look, that must be a lowercase U and then the T. Then it's like TFT full screen yellow, prints YouTube on the TFT, and writes YouTube is on back to the terminal. And that's all I'm doing, messing about with the buffers, putting in random comments. As I say, if you lose communication, it doesn't write anything back. So it's pretty sound. So for this port A, for example, I'm looking at four buffers, or five, sorry. So zero, one, two, three, and four. Over here on the right. So that, these ASCII characters obviously equal port, so P, O, R, T, and then A. And then here's, look, so this 97 is A, and then O, F, F. So you can see those ASCII characters are the same. So A, O, F, F is port A is off. And it prints that back on the terminal. So that's what I'm doing. Simple and reliable. And this is just to get the chars on the screen. TFT char, read buffer, so look, zero. 20, 100. So printing these out on the screen, you can appreciate what's going on in those 64 buffers. I've just printed the first 10. And finally down at the bottom, this was before I had the ASCII chart, so look, into string, read buffer, zero, and then read buffer string. It was printing my buffer over here, so I knew what character was coming up. Then I just pulled up the ASCII chart and started running through it. This bit down here is to give you the typing. So obviously this is the X and Y, and depending on where you are in the line, you've got these comments. And that's it. So this USB HID terminal is available on any microcontroller with internal USB. Microelectronica's initial example, you send the microcontroller a word or a letter, and the microcontroller just sends it back. So it's, it was there, just simple, quick example, and I've just modified it, put all that stuff in to get the board to actually do something, show how versatile it is. So that's it, USB HID terminal from Microelectronica and JBE. And just a quickie, here's a USB port down here that connects to the microcontroller, which is previously wired up to a 7-inch TFT and I've disconnected it. 
So that's how easy it is to communicate with a microcontroller and via USB. Thank you for watching.